Hi, in this video, we'll take a look at the new features in the latest version of DayTrader, which is out today. First of all, the integration to Interactive Brokers is complete, no more issues, so that's now considered in production. You'll see here, we have a new icon for something we're calling widgets. And these are cloud-based services that are hosted on our servers, but available from within the app. Now, the benefit of this is that you can utilize browser-based services but contain them in a discrete window anywhere on your day trader workspace and on any of the screens on your PC. Now, as it's a part of your workspace, it'll also reopen with the app. Now, the first two widgets we've added are real-time news and economic releases. So let's just look at the news first. Journalytics users will recognize this as the same news feed on the day overview. There's the day overview, you can see the news feed and the economic releases, and it's the same news feed here. Like the day overview, we can enter filters. They're my filters. And the filters will be highlighted in either the headline of the news or the body of the news. If you want to read a full article, you just click the button here. And that'll open up the article in a browser window. OK, there's the article. News can also be read out loud to you if you click the audio button. Note that Google Chrome restrictions mean they're required to interact with the page before audio is allowed, so you will need to switch this on each time you open it, and we are looking for a workaround for that. But this is how the news sounds. Oil prices set to decline further if OPEC Plus does intact. Euro to US dollar is in a precarious spot near the 1.0900 level. Note that we do pay for this news feed. So it's real time for journalistic subscribers and those with a live trading license. For those without, there is a 15 minute delay on the news, which is still very useful for catching up on what happened overnight with your filters. Next, we have an economic release calendar. Now by default, it shows economic releases for the past 30 minutes and then those for the rest of the day. You can also use show all to see all of today's releases. So you can actually see the results for the previous releases. That is all based on your own time zone and the manual tells you how to set that. Now again, these are updated in real time, another paid service, and you'll see it updates way ahead of the free economic release calendars that you see online. Um, you can get history of any of these economic releases by clicking the button here. So if you wanna know what this one's all about and a bit of history of the, the data, you can just click there and you can see all that information. Now we'll be adding more widgets over time and as far as we know this makes Jigsaw the first trading application to combine cloud and desktop functionality using the best features of each where it makes the most sense. So this will be released today which is 11th of February. Thank you and I look forward to talking to you in the next video.